Hi, this is Tom Soane with a quick tip for any DIY or self-managing landlord to make sure that you get undeniable proof that you gave the right documents to the right tenants at the right time, you got the right documents signed at the right time, you collected the right information from the tenants at the right time, and you did everything you needed to do in due diligence, in checks, and in compliance, and all the legal stuff. I wanna show you how to get proof that you did all of that perfectly, because the legal bit in lettings is huge right now. And this is a really easy way to make sure that if you, if you ever end up in court, you can say to the judge, well, hey, I got it right, look, I did my part, I did it right perfectly. And all it is, is to sign up for an electronic signature service. That sounds really easy, but let me tell you how you actually use it. And there are loads of electronic signature services out there. There's eSign, uh, DocuSign, PandaDocs, there's loads. And they're not actually that expensive if you're only doing a, an occasional contract or an occasional, um, they call them envelopes, I think. But anyway, they're not actually that expensive. So choose which one offers the right pricing plan for you. And bear in mind, they all kind of do the same thing. So it's not actually too much of a difference if you choose one over the other. So go for the pricing, but also choose the one that has the easiest uh, user interface, user system for you. Anyway, once you've got that, you upload the appropriate documents into that system. So in your case, Mr. and Mrs. Landlord, you're going to upload the right how to rent guide. You're going to upload the EPC, the uh, gas safety certificate. Uh, you're going to upload the EICR, the Electrical Installation Condition Report, and that's just to give to the tenant. And then you're going to upload your AST, your Assured Shorthold Tenancy Contract, for them to sign and fill in. And that's already pre-populated, by the way, so you don't need to meet anyone, you don't need to go anywhere to sign up, you just need to send it to them because you've already done it. You send them the right to rent checks. So they fill in their right to rent checks and they have already they can also reply with their documentation they need to provide. It's madness. But either way, it's a way to make sure you get all of the information to that tenant and you collect all the information from that tenant. Now, once you've done that, you hit send and that goes to the tenant. Now, that is time stamped. There's no fooling these systems either. Those systems will track and note where the tenant opened it, on what device they opened it, and they know, this system knows that it was definitely this tenant that did that. They know it was their email address using their phone or their laptop in their location. It knows. Well, think about it. If you're on your phone, then your phone knows where you are at all times. So if there is ever a debate then that system will be able to very quickly give you a certificate to say, this was the person that signed it, they are who they say they are, and they followed the right procedures. So it's a real quick way, first of all, to make sure that the tenant gets every document they're supposed to get so that you comply with the law, and it's a way to make sure that the contracts are signed, the information is gathered, you then get that stored in your system. And that's your part of the system. So you can access that at any time. You can print it out if you want. You can keep it in their system as storage if you want. Either way, it's there for the good long term. So outside of that, if you ever then get into trouble where the tenant says, I didn't receive a how to rent guide. I didn't receive the EPC, which is a big topic at the moment, or the gas safety certificate, then you can say to the judge, hey, look, here you go. Here's the proof. You can also get the tenant to then sign after it to confirm that you did the smoke alarm tests, that you can then prove to them that you've registered the deposit. You can send them the deposit registration certificate. Well, they'll normally get one anyway, but you can send it to them too, being just, I guess, diligent. Um, and it's a really quick and easy way to make sure you're getting it right from the start. So I hope that helps. And... Uh, I did do that monster video, that really in-detail video of everything you need for every single tenancy every single time. So check that out on my Facebook page, uh, Tom Sohn. But until then, my name's Tom Sohn, and I am the Anonymous Landlord.